first of all check that you've got all the component parts and you've read the instructions fully and you're familiar with uh, what you're trying to do and uh, make sure none of the different uh, pieces of uh, timber are damaged if you start with your uh, the uh, framework the uh, good face facing downwards against your work table or on a carpeted floor um, make sure it's a clean floor if not just put down the packaging cardboard to protect the uh, the good side of your uh, radiator grill so now we're going to start off initially by putting in the 16 dowels I found that these uh, fit in quite easily so there's uh, two in each of these uh, I say 16 there's actually 12 not sure you will see that easily in this video but each bag is uh, carefully marked with a different letter which corresponds to the letters that are referred to in the instruction sheet there when it says A12 that just means it's bag A and there are 12 dowels as it were there and B is 18 so that's B18 so it's 18 little screws and those are 14 millimeter and the C pack are 12 millimeter and a lot thinner but this is why it's good when people put them in little bags and put the names on them because then you know exactly where you are because with them in the little bags it's quite easy to see the difference but sometimes if they're all in a big mash in a bowl together then it does become quite difficult to sort them all out so keep them in their little separate bags or in separate dishes whichever works best for you so if you place your uh, the front of your uh, radiator grill with the good side facing down onto your, your work, clean work table or onto a clean floor or carpet if, uh, if it's uh, dirty or mucky just uh, use the packaging that the uh, radiator came with to give it some uh, protection if you pop that underneath it'll stop the uh, grey getting uh, dented or whatever so basically what we've got here is uh, on this side we've got um, number six and then we've got number five at either end one here and one there and number eight in the middle and then number four which is the top of uh, the front on that side there so the first thing is to use set a of the dowels which is there's 12 of those and we just simply push them into the ends of these three central pieces here they actually seem to slide in quite easily this has been in the house it's been in the dry so the dowels seem to fit in quite easily so we put those uh, six in and then we'll push the uh, the sides together I say sides we'll push just push those particular components together if you want to make it a bit more substantial you can always add uh, PVA wood glue to the uh, to the dowels or to the holes where the dowels go in and uh, that'll hold it all together a bit more rigidly I'm sure it'll be fine without but uh, doesn't suggest you need to glue them but uh, if you want a more rigid effect then I'm sure that'll be fine just make sure you protect your carpet or floor against the glue So I've now pushed the dowels into the uh, into these pieces here. So a matter of making sure you push from one side and then carefully push them together, and they're all aligned. Then they all go together. Otherwise, if you go from this way and down to there, then you end up with them spread. It's not always that easy to get them together. So if you've got your dowels in them, these uh, one, two, three, and then just push one side in and the other side to it. And you probably have to do it several times just to make it keep it all nice and tight together. I've set the torque setting on us to 8, 
think that's about right. And I'll set the speed to 1. Um, so that should be enough not to push it in too tight. So there's still a bit of movement in that. So I think that's probably how they're anticipating you do those. So it uh, helps it to when you're fitting the other uh, the sides on, gives it a little bit more fluidity so you can get the sides on, that's a big word for me, to uh, make it all come together a bit more easily. The hole that the screw goes into are slightly pre-drilled so it's easy to find them and that's the way around the bracket should be. So near to this edge but not right up against it. But as I say, the uh, hole that's there will guide you and make sure you get it in the right place. And here you can just hear the torque on the drill kicking in. So clicky clicky it means the torque has cut in and that stops the drill going any further, putting the screw in any further, so it protects the wood and it keeps a strong fitting. As they allow a certain amount of movement in these still. It says 80%, so just have to, it depends a little bit on the drill you've got as to whether the torque setting is the same as mine, but you may possibly have to turn it down slightly, depending on what sort of screwdriver drill you're using. Now we've got to make sure that you get everything nice and uh, tight, having got all these little brackets in, just make sure it's all nice and tied up together. You may have to push it together slightly when you screw the grills in, just to keep it that's nice there. That's nice. That one there looks like it's opening up a bit, so it might have to be pulled a little bit tighter when you're actually uh, putting the, uh, the grill effect into that cavity. So now we're going to fit the uh, grills and make sure that the grey side is facing down. So then that'll be the underside, the grey bit will be where your front face will be under there. So Which is put in there reasonably snugly and make it all nice and rigid. And there we are. That's perfect. It's just slightly looser there, so I think when it comes to screwing up, pay just to push that together just a little bit tighter. And our other bill. Once again, the grey face towards the uh, work tabletop or floor or carpet or whatever you're doing it on, they do fit quite neatly into there so it's quite easy to know where they where they should be. And now we're going to screw those in with uh, two, four, six, eight screws to each one. So there's eight of the C screws, which are three by 12 millimeter, little tiny ones. So 16 should hold that nice and uh, neatly together. So I've now fitted all of the uh, 16 of the letter C screws into the uh, uh, screens and those are all held nice and uh, neatly in position so hopefully that will create a good effect. I'm now going to introduce you to sides uh, 2 and 3 so we're just going to add some more of these little brackets on and uh, then we'll go on to the next stage. I'm going to add the two remaining brackets from the D packet. And now we've got our two remaining brackets there and there on the top part of our sides. You can see there's two other screw holes in there which have been drilled out and those are to align the, uh, the front screen. So eventually one or other of those will come along here slot into the uh, this part will slot into the groove and then hopefully those should line up through and it will be nice and tidy but we're just going to briefly go on and finish off doing some work on the top shelf now and now we've gone on to the uh, top shelf which is number one and we're going to fit these two brackets these are slightly different these are brackets e once again held in by two of the b size screws and these brackets are basically the clips that uh, clip the uh, the whole screen onto the wall so you can lift it on and off if you want to adjust the radiator setting 
the thermostat setting or, or whatever, or clean it out behind whatever you might want to do. So we'll just pop those on and then we're ready for the final assembly. So that's now fitted uh, the brackets uh, E, it's two here on the top. So those will be used for, as I say, clipping the uh, whole cover onto the wall. The end on, uh, making sure it's uh, the, uh, the front screen goes into the groove on the end panel and then uh, screw it up with the two more of the B screws. Don't do them up too tight because I found that these screws do tend to break off very easily, which is uh, can be a bit of a pain. Uh, but I've put most of it together with on the low torque settings, it seems to be fine. But these last uh, couple of screws I've had to put in, the uh, they've uh, sheared off, so just have to find some new screws for those. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get there in the end. These larger covers I'd get uh, somebody to help you. Certainly take it off the table and put it into position. You'll find it a lot easier. Also it'll be a lot easier to mark the uh, wall fixings on with uh, two of you I guess. Hope this helps a little. If it does, please do give it the thumbs up and please do subscribe and then I can continue to help Acorns Children's Hospice Worcester and Mind. Thank you for your continuation.